What we're gonna do is just do a real short clip on checking a shower pan. On this particular shower, you can see where you have two different types of shower, shower tile, and that down here at the bottom, you have some grout problems, some grout deterioration. So what I did to help uh, find out if the pan is bad or not, or some other potential problems exist, I put a stopper in the bottom to, for it to hold water filled it up to where it's about an inch below the, the shower pan and then you allow that to set for a while. After about 15 or 20 minutes you can use a moisture meter to see if there's moisture below the tile or below the carpet outside of the shower. You can see where you have elevated moisture levels underneath the tile right next to the shower. So that's a good indicator that you're losing water out of the shower. Another good area to check is just the walls adjacent to the shower. You can see how the shower is in here. You have a regular sheetrock wall with carpet. You can check the, check the uh, below the carpet level here to see if there's any standing water. I've already checked this one. You can see that there's no standing water. So you go down the hallway, you have a closet adjacent to the shower as well. Now I have already checked the closet area here and you can see that there was no elevated, there's no moisture coming out from around the pan. So what I did was go to the third wall adjacent to it where there is another closet come in here and again remember the shower is directly to the other side you lift the carpet carefully without tearing things up and you can see that there's standing water here adjacent to the the shower another good indicator that the shower pan is leaking and needs to be further evaluated by a plumber the cost of something like this is somewhere right in the range of about two thousand dollars so as an inspector it's a good idea to be able to check the your tile shower pans in this manner